you know when when I first did this character, uh, Dusty, because he he saw it as the 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 little Richard character, you know, right? of course. And he had me wearing a lot of makeup, but as the 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 um, uh, character progressed and kind of switching to a fan favorite as opposed to a heel, I started dropping the makeup more and more. And I remember going into um, you know the gorilla position right before you go out into the audience. You know, go through the curtains. It's called the gorilla position. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember Dusty would be sitting there at the monitor because he was running the show, kind of. And uh, so I'd be back there, and he'd look at me, he goes, "Where's your makeup?" And I go, ah, oh, Dustin, I gotta wear it. He goes, go get some color on right now. <laughs> I go back and put, you know, eyeliner on or whatever, you know. And then I'd come back out, but I kept doing it more and more. And finally, he just didn't, he didn't care, you know. What I mean, he just let it go because I go, I, because at the time there was, there was sometimes I was going to schools and stuff like that. And I, and it was like a kind of a stumbling block for a lot of kids when they go, why do you wear makeup, you know? So right. I was able to finally drop it and kind of make it more of a fan favorite and more of a switch because it was it was like based on little richard muhammad ali type thing you know and then switch more from little richard to the muhammad ali character you know i'm a bad man so it was it was um uh, it was a lot of fun the last couple of years of johnny be bad were some of my my favorite times in wrestling and then and then gosh wrestling oh my gosh you know guys even lex luger man which you know he did he he worked so hard with me and because i did a lot of stuff like flying over the top rope or mm -hmm and stuff and he he never complained he was like okay i'll catch you and sure enough guy that's strong and big you can catch anybody you know so hey. um and then of course uh uh william regal steve regal at the time um I learned so much from that guy too you know guys that they had me working with to learn from and um i owe those guys a lot of uh gratitude guys uh Oh my gosh, I remember going into programs with Ricky Moore and, and, and even Raven really helped me out a lot because they were so far ahead of me in, in ability that they say, oh, try it this way or sell it this way and stuff. And and you look back on your career and at the time you don't think of, you know, the gratitude you have, you know, and the, but now as I look back on my career, I have so much gratitude for the guys that um, helped me come along, you know, helped me be a better, better wrestler, better performer, better, better on the mic or whatever it was. And I only, I only wish I was as good on the mic as I am now in front of thousands of students. If I could only take this character now and go back and have a lot of fun with it.